Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I am continuing my reviews for the Fast and Furious franchise with Fast and Furious 6. This is a 2013 film that was, of course, directed by Justin Lin. And the plot is we see our group. Vin Diesel as Dominic, Paul Walker as Brian, Jordana Brewster as Mia, who are enjoying the riches of what they were able to accomplish in that heist in the last movie. Until Agent Hobbs, played by The Rock, he is desperate. He's going after this big time criminal, high level criminal, Shaw, played by Luke Evans. And he's so desperate to catch this guy that he brings in Vin Diesel's team and says, look, I need your guys' help. The reason why he needs their help is because the person that's on Shaw's team is Letty, played by Michelle Rodriguez, back from the dead. So this team, including Dom, has to figure out a way to get in there and stop them. Now, what I think of Fast and Furious 6 is... I really like this movie. I enjoyed this movie. I have fun with this film. I feel like they, the people, they took this franchise at a new level after Fast Five that it's like, well, how can we top it? I'm not so sure if they topped Fast Five, but they definitely continue that fun from Fast Five. The action is insane. In this movie, the beginning when Shaw is getting away and he has that like race car contraption, but it's it's highly made up of metal and just you can't even touch it. That chase scene is great. There's a tank. They get chased by a tank on the highway. It's incredible. It's crazy. Or there's an airplane sequence. I can't even describe what they're doing on there. But on the airplane. Vin Diesel and The Rock team up to take on some of these hench guys and they do some, I swear, some WWE wrestling moves, tag team moves, and it's fucking awesome. So the action in and of itself, by itself, is amazing. This story though, the fact that they bring Michelle Rodriguez back, does it make sense? <laughs> no, of course not. Logically, it's like you killed her off. And as much as I hated that, as much as I was pretty pissed that they killed her off in the fourth film, it's like, well, by this point, she probably should have stayed dead. But I will admit the the after credit scene of them saying she was alive at the end of the fifth movie made me pretty excited to see this. And I do like seeing Michelle Rodriguez in this series coming back. I think it's the whole amnesia thing. Maybe that's what I'm sort of like, oh, okay, she's Jason Bourne now. She doesn't remember anything of her past. She doesn't remember being with Vin Diesel, but she recognizes the love that he has for her, so that makes her conflicted. I do like seeing Vin Diesel be vulnerable, though. A little bit of, he's chasing this girl. He's trying to convince her that they did have a past, that they were in love, and that maybe they could be again. Luke Evans as Shaw, the main villain, I like Luke Evans in this movie. I think some movies he hits and other movies he misses, but this is just something where he's menacing. He's creepy. He's just a guy who's evil and just wants to do these things that he does and doesn't care who he, who he hurts along the way. And he knows how good he is. Also, the fact that somehow somebody had a great idea for Fast Five to bring all of those characters from the past and bring them together like the, the, the Avengers or something. Well, they're continuing that tradition. They brought them back here as well. Tyrese, uh, Ludacris, Han, Gail Godot. I like that these are the set team now. And every time we're gonna do this, we're gonna bring these people back. I like them together. I love Tyrese and Ludacris bouncing off of each other, making fun of each other, going back and forth, trying to almost outwit each other. I think they're great. 
I like them a hell of a lot better than those two Spanish dudes in the last movie. And I'm not trying to be a dick. And like, they were fine. I don't hate them. I just like Tyrese and Ludacris much better. And I even like Han and, and Gail Godot, Giselle. I like them being a couple. I like them dating. I like them continuously trying to make plans to go to Tokyo because we know what happens in Tokyo. Gina Carano is this time The Rock's right-hand gal. And I, the jury's out on Gina Carano, like whether she is a good actress. I've seen her in Haywire and she was really good in that, but I hear that she was dubbed. She doesn't really have a lot of speaking lines here either, but she has this badass fight scene in this movie against Michelle Rodriguez. And that fight scene in the subway station is amazing. It almost rivals the fight with Vin Diesel and The Rock in the last film just because of just how sheer brutal it is. And that like they don't hold back. They, they don't fight like they're two girls going at it. They fight like they're two badasses. Sure, it might go a little over the top. Sure, it might be itching to that like superhero level of action that it's like now they can't go backwards. Sure, maybe some people might not love it as much as Fast Five and I get that, but it's still a lot of fun. I still like this movie. So guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think of Fast and Furious 6? Do you like it? Do you think it just doesn't quite hold up to Fast Five? Or does it really matter? It's still fun on its own. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!